dear students myself amit patel assistant professor smc college of dairy science anand i am one of the content writers for the paper number 7 that is technology of milk and milk products today we are going to discuss new technologies and product development in dairy industry new technologies are emerging in the field of dairy industry such as membrane processing then certain conventional heating uh, processing such as uht processing non conventional heating processes such as microwave heating ohmic heating pulse electric heating then we are going to learn about certain concepts for preservation that is hurdle technology then fat replacement then bio preservation in dairy industry etc new and alternative dairy processing methods and novel combinations of existing methods are continually being sought by industry in pursuit of producing better quality dairy products more economically hence new innovations technologies and concepts continue to emerge over the years many traditional technologies have been optimized for producing better quality dairy products with the use of aseptic processing membrane processing microwave heating radio frequency and ohmic heating high pressure processing and electrical pulse processing these new technologies although emerging as strong alternatives to conventional processing still need to be rigorously tested and proved to be safe and commercially viable dear students now let us discuss membrane processing membrane processing is a pressure driven process in which semi permeable membranes are used to separate out constituents of milk by use of physical or chemical properties of different constituents different membrane processes are ultrafiltration nanofiltration reverse osmosis and microfiltration we will discuss each process one by one with their application in dairy industry the first new emerging technology is membrane processing the pressure driven membrane processes are based on the ability of semi permeable membranes of appropriate physical and chemical nature to discriminate between molecules primarily on the basis of size and to a lesser extent on shape and chemical composition the main membrane system in ascending order of pore size are reverse osmosis nano filtration ultra filtration and micro filtration the first and foremost used membrane processing application in dairy industry is through ultra filtration ultra filtration has a wide range of applications in the dairy industry ultra filtration membranes allows separation of smaller molecular weight substances ranging from 10000 to 75000 daltons with operating pressure ranging between 10 to 200 psig ultra filtration produces from milk a permeate containing water lactose soluble minerals non protein nitrogen and water soluble vitamins and a retentate in which proteins fats and colloidal salts contained increases in proportion to the amount of permeate removed the ultra filtration process has been used for milk protein standardization deproteinization of whey fractionation of proteins preparation of biological peptides manufacture of rasgulla mix powder preparation of protein rich milk low lactose powder manufacture of milk protein concentrates manufacture of whey protein concentrates or isolates etc ultra filtration process has also been used for the manufacture of several fermented dairy products like yogurt srikhand and various types of soft and semi soft varieties of cheeses second membrane processing is 
रिवर्स ऑस्मोसिस रिवर्स ऑस्मोसिस इज एसेंशियली अ डी वॉटरिंग टेक्निक इट कैन बी यूज फॉर प्री कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ लिक्विड फीड फॉर डिफरेंट पर्पजिस द रिवर्स ऑस्मोसिस मेमरेन्स आर कैरेक्टराइज बाय अ मोलेक्युलर वेट कट ऑफ ऑफ नियरली हंड्रेड डाल्टन्स एंड प्रेशर इन्वॉल्व आर फाइव टू टेन टाइम्स ग्रेटर देन दोज यूज इन अल्ट्रा फिल्ट्रेशन द पोटेंशियल एप्लीकेशन ऑफ रिवर्स ऑस्मोसिस टेक्नोलॉजी आर बल्क ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ रिवर्स ऑस्मोसिस कंसनट्रेटेड मिल्क्स प्री कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ मिल्क फॉर खोवा मेकिंग एंड स्प्रेड राइंग यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ पैस्चुराइज रिवर्स ऑस्मोसिस कंसनट्रेट इन प्लेस ऑफ मार्केट मिल्क पार्शियल कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ वे एंड पार्शियल कंसनट्रेशन ऑफ बटर मिल्क थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट मेम्ब्रेन प्रोसेस इज नैनो फिल्ट्रेशन नैनो फिल्ट्रेशन इज अ डी मिनरलाइजेशन प्रोसेस एसिड वे कैन बी पार्शियली डी मिनरलाइज टू अबाउट फोर्टी परसेंट पर्टिक्युलरली विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द मोनोवेलेंट आयंस एंड कंसनट्रेटेड साइमल्टेनियसली टू एप्रोक्सीमेटली ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट टोटल सॉलिड्स यूजिंग नैनो फिल्ट्रेशन प्रोसेस it separates particles with molecular weight in the range of 300 to 1000 daltons the operating pressures required are nearly 300 psig another membrane processing is through microfiltration microfiltration is essentially used as a clarifying process to remove macro materials and suspended solids milk fat globules bacteria and colloidal particles in microfiltration membranes with pore size ranging from 0.1 to 10 micron and the operating pressure in the range of 1 to 25 psig are used the most significant application of microfiltration in dairy industry is for selective separation of bacteria from milk Another emerging technology in the field of dairy industry is UHT processing. Ultra high temperature or UHT processing of milk refers to a processing know-how wherein milk is heated to a temperature of 135 to 150 degree Celsius for 2 to 10 seconds in a continuous flow and subsequently packaged under aseptic conditions in sterile containers. processing in a continuous system involves pumping the product to heat exchanger heating holding for fixed duration in holding tubes flash cooling in heat exchanger followed by packaging in a neat and sterile containers there are two major types of steam or hot water based on continuous flow uht processing systems the first is indirect heating where heating medium and product that is milk does not come into contact with each other and second uht processing system is direct heating in which steam is infused in a medium that is milk for uht processing in case of indirect heating system heating of milk to the sterilizing temperature can be achieved in heat exchanger based on corrugated plates tubes or scrap surface cylinders whereas direct heating uht system involves either injection of steam into milk or spraying of milk in a steam filled chamber which is also known as infusion ohmic heating ohmic heating is also known electric resistance heating direct electric resistance heating electro heating and electro conductive heating The most important benefit of ohmic heating is that heating is very rapid and uniform. The process is ideal for shear sensitive products. Ohmic heating can heat the food continuously without needing the hot heat transfer surface or of a scrap surface heat exchangers or tubular heat exchanger. The process is quiet in operation as rotating parts are not used in the system to ensure temperature uniformity a high level of control 
and automation ensure safety during the operation. Finally, it is easier to design a heating machine temperature profile that will ensure sterility because heat is generated within the solids independent of thermal conductivity through the liquid. Microwaves are a form of electromagnetic radiation characterized by wavelength of 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz and frequency. Microwaves used in the food industry for heating are of ISM that is industrial, scientific and medical frequencies ranging from 900 MHz to 2450 MHz corresponding to 12 or 34 cm in wavelength. In this frequency range, the dielectric heating mechanism dominates up to moderated temperatures. Polar molecules, the dominant water, try to align themselves with the rapidly changing direction of the electric field. The energy to achieve this alignment is taken from the electric field. When the field changes direction, the molecules relaxes and the energy previously absorbed is dissipated into the surroundings, that is directly inside the food. This means that the water content of the food is an important factor in the microwave heating performance of foods. Dairy industry applications of microwave processing include enhancement of pasteurization efficiency, thermizing milk prior to cheese manufacturing, inactivation of bacteriophage, in package paneer making, clarification of butter into ghee, thermization of yogurt, cooking of cheese curd, plasticizing provolone and mozzarella cheese, and thawing butter. The application of hydrostatic pressure to food results in instantaneous and uniform transmission of the pressure throughout the product independent of the product volume. The hydrostatic treatment is unique in that the effects do not follow a concentration gradient nor do they change as a function of time. Other advantages include the absence of chemical additives and operation at low or ambient temperatures so that the food is essentially raw. Hydrostatic pressure is a physical treatment that will not cause extensive chemical changes in the food system. Once the desired pressure is reached, it can be maintained without the need for further energy input. Liquid foods can be pumped to a treatment pressures, held and then decompressed aseptically for filling as with other aseptic processes. The application of high pressure processing to food preservation started around 1900 when Haidt and his co-workers investigated its effect on food microorganisms by subjecting them to a pressure of 650 megapascal and found a reduction in the viable number of the microbes. Pulsed electric field heating. High intensity pulse electric field processing involves the application of pulses of high voltage, typically in the range of 20 to 80 kilowatt per centimeter, to foods placed between two electrodes. Pulse electric field treatment is conducted at ambient, subambient, or slightly above ambient temperatures for less than one second as a result of which the energy loss due to heating of food is minimized. Pulse electric field technology is considered superior to traditional heat treatment of foods because it maintains food quality by avoiding or greatly reducing detrimental changes to the sensory and physical properties of foods. The use of pulse electric fields for inactivating microorganisms is promising non-thermal processing method that can be used for pasteurization and possibly also sterilization with the integration of other processing parameters such as pH, ionic strength, temperature and high pressure processing. Osmotic dehydration 
the concentration of food products by product immersion in a hypertonic solution is known as osmotic dehydration osmotic dehydration consume less energy compared to air drying and freeze drying because water removal occurs without a phase change heat damage to the food product is minimum in case of osmotic dehydration as the product is not subjected to a high temperature for extended periods successful attempts have been made to dehydrate traditional indian dairy products such as rasmalai rasgulla and paneer using osmotic dehydration technology another very important preservation technology is hurdle technology hurdle technology is a concept in which three or more preservation parameters known as hurdles are employed in suitable combination and every hurdle is used at optimum level so that damage to the overall quality of food is kept to a minimum hurdle technology has been tried for preservation of several indian dairy products such as milk cake paneer and paneer curry biopreservation biopreservation refers to the extended storage life and enhanced safety of foods using their natural or controlled microflora and or their antimicrobial products the diverse group of lactic acid bacteria synthesize a variety of inhibitory substances such as organic acids carbon dioxide hydrogen peroxide diacetyl bacteriocins etc which prevent the development of undesirable bacteria now let us discuss some of the product developments in dairy industry consumers demands keep changing over time these changes range from basic considerations such as improving food safety shelf life and reducing wastage to demands for increasingly sophisticated foods having special characteristics in terms of nutritional value therapeutic value palatability and convenience one such development in dairy industries probiotic foods a probiotic is a mono or mixed culture of live microorganisms which benefit host by improving the properties of the indigenous microflora regular consumption of probiotic dairy products positively affect the composition of this microflora or extend a range of host benefits including reduction in serum cholesterol and blood pressure decreased incidences and duration of diarrhea maintenance of mucosal integrity anti carcinogenic and anti mutagenic activities immuno stimulation and immuno modulation pathogen interference exclusion and antagonism fat replacement nutritional experts recommended low fat no fat or reduced fat foods as consumption of high fat foods has been linked to a several chronic diseases such as cardiovascular diseases obesity and certain forms of cancers fat mimics and fat substitutes are normally used to produce low fat foods fat mimics are substances that help replace the mouth feel or fat but cannot substitute for fat on a gram for gram basis and cannot be used for applications involving frying substances whose physical or thermal properties resemble fat are termed as fat substitutes and can replace fat on a gram for gram basis and can also be used for frying applications low fat cheese cultured products frozen desserts butter and spreads have been successfully developed using commercially available fat mimics or fat replacers dear students at the end i would like to conclude that many new technologies are emerging in the field of dairy industry they are membrane processing uht processing then ohmic heating pulse electric heating high hydrostatic pressure processing biopreservation hurdle technology osmotic dehydration these technologies are emerging but they are at very small scale then we are we have discussed 
new product development concepts such as probiotic foods then fat mimetics fat replacers to produce low calorie foods thank you